Welcome back. I'm Jennifer Donnelly, joined by head coach Lindsay Oates. 13-1 in conference play right now. That was a close game, going another five set. Only the second time we've done that in Big Sky Conference play so far. Yeah, it was. And you got to give credit to Idaho State that they played really well. Um, but I thought we came out a little flat. Like those first and second sets, we were not making defensive plays that we normally make. And then I thought we got it going in third set, and it kind of snuck back up on us in the fourth and fifth set where we were inconsistent with our defensive effort and, and playmaking there. Yeah, some of the defense, you're right. Um, I heard you say that in one of the timeouts where you're trying to call them out a bit on their defense and some of the digs and some of those balls just falling flat or one player would have a tremendous effort and everyone else couldn't help yes. pick that up. But they've 31 errors in hitting. I mean, that's an entire set worth of points for the other team. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the stat sheet tells the story of the match. 77 kills, which is awesome, mm -hmm. and 31 errors, which is, is not awesome. And our serving game, 13 aces, which it means we're serving really aggressive and 11 errors mm -hmm. and really some untimely errors. The first set, I think we had five errors. So we were making great plays and we were making horrible plays. It really was all on us, which is a good and a bad thing because we almost cost ourselves that match. The 31 hitting errors, I mean, you're not going to win very many matches when you have that many. No, a terrific serving. So tonight, four aces with no errors for Taylor Ells. The senior now with 102 for her career, tying Andrea Spostat for the number one spot uh, since UNC started playing Division I volleyball. Uh, great career for, for Taylor. Just so impressive Absolutely. with the service line. Yes, I, yeah, she served well tonight and kept it low air. That was the key for mm -hmm. her tonight. Um, you know, Laura had a good serving night, but we had some errors. Kendall had a good serving night, but had some errors, you know, including the ace at the end. But our best servers tonight weren't low air enough other than Taylor Ells. Right, Taylor hitting uh, 21 serves with no service errors. Um, just tremendous effort for her. And then, of course, Daisy Schultz hitting that 3,000 um, assists tonight, 77 kills for the team in total. So she only needed 42 and smashed that. She almost doubled it on the night. So tremendous individual effort. But this team, I think, is about no ego. they got to win as a team and kind of get the job done. Yeah, and it was a win ugly tonight, <laughs> which is also no ego. Because I think if we got caught up in that of, like, we're not playing well, we're not playing well, we dropped that match mm -hmm. because they were playing well and were in, you know, feeling good about how they were playing. So we got to let that go and just grind through it. And I guess we did for the most part. I mean, it could have gone either way in that fifth set, but I, we did grind enough to find a way. A lot of grinding early on in the preseason where almost every home game went to five and the Bears showing that they don't crack under that pressure mm -hmm. so far, at least. Well. Another road trip for you guys next week. Could you take on next week? We'll be at Idaho first, which could clinch a mm -hmm. championship. Uh, so that's a big one, obviously. And they're in second place. And then we'll be at Eastern Washington with a quick turnaround back to back uh, on the road next weekend. So quick turnaround in Idaho, uh, definitely one of the top tier teams right now. So that's going to be a huge game. And Pluto TV is going to broadcast that for us. Thank you so much for being here, Coach. Thanks. And you guys have a great week. We'll see you next time.